All right, guys, we're back in the booth tonight. I wanted to thank our sponsor of the video, LureBuild.com. Jimmy has excellent blanks, eyes, stencils from Insane Custom Stencils. He has his own brand. Uh, so go check him out, LureBuild.com, for all your painting and lure supply needs. So let's get to it. All right, we are going to have at it tonight. Just have a little fun. I'm actually going to do one of these Goliath lipless crankbaits. I'm not going to do it in this color, but I just wanted to show the bait. And I wanted to show my friend Kyle. <laughs> we were talking today about the different sizes. And it just shows you what the size difference is. This is actually a half ounce. And this is a two ounce. So I use these bigger ones for my striper fishing. They're actually kind of cool and they're fun to paint. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to paint one of these in a green and blue color that I want to try with some uh, different eyes from LureBuild.com, Jimmy. Um, so let's get started. And we're actually going to do this one start to finish. So let me set these down. And we're going to get our blank. I've already wiped it down with some alcohol. This blank actually came from Luis. We're going to be using a lot of different... <laughs> different guy stuff tonight. We're going to use some stuff from, from Lure Build. We're going to use some stuff from Luis. Uh, we're going to use some of Russ's stencils. I may throw a little bit of Whitmore Farm in there. We just going to, we're going to have at it tonight. Um, and I just wanted to say, you know, I'm not a pro at this. I just have fun. I'm just like everybody else out there. Uh, I just like to paint. Um, by no means am I a pro with an airbrush or painting these lures. I just do it for fun. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. Oh, uh, and I hope that, like I said, I love the support that I get from this. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, I hope everybody continues and continues to grow and painting and uh, and doing this uh, lure painting. It's just, a, it's just a great hobby. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some Audubon white and I'm gonna cover it. And then we're gonna heat set this. I got my Creos back, and I also got my new Creos gun today, so I got a, a double up so I can actually put on um, paint two different guns and maybe save a little bit of time. So I'm I'm using my PS290 trigger gun for this. Uh, I got the pressure on about 45, so we're just going to hit it. like to get a good coating over it. Sprays really well out of this gun. It's a 0.5 millimeter nozzle needle on this one. Sprays really well out of it. I like using the Audubon sealer over the blanks to start. I think it gives it a good a good foundation to start spraying your other paints on it. So I'm gonna clean the gun out. And I may have questions about how I clean my gun out. I just, I just rinse my gun out. I've got a bottle with a little nozzle tip on it and I put a hot, hot water in it and I just blow, I, I just dump it into a trash can. I don't always spray that paint that's already in the cup through the gun. I think that'll cause you some problems down the road. So I just clean it out and then I just blow some hot, hot water through it. And I may run some 4011 through it. So we're gonna set that on up and we'll go ahead and heat set this for a minute. I just, something else, I, I, I don't like to edit videos. I'm not, I'm not really good <laughs> with <laughs> video stuff. Um, so I'm just going to give it to you just like I do it, whether I make mistakes or whether I don't, and that's just how I do it. So let me heat set this real quick. I 
right. So the next color I'm going to use is actually a fastback green. You got to see, it's kind of a, gr a bluish green. It's kind of a cool color. I haven't used it in the videos yet. I haven't used it in a while, matter of fact. But it's a real popular color uh, around with the lure painters. So I, I know a lot of guys that do use it. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to paint. I'm going to leave the belly white maybe to, the, to where the fin is on both sides down. And the reason I do that is I don't, I don't like to paint things all one color. I think it takes away from it, but that's just my style. So, you know, if you like that, great. You know, you can paint the thing all one color. If that's, if that's your thing, then, you know, have at it. I just don't do it. I like to, I like to have that little bit of color in it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna use my big gun to spray this. And I'm going to cut the pressure down just a little bit. Matter of fact, I think I'm just going to hit the top right now. That wasn't good. Still had reducer in the gun. Okay. Dry that off. Okay. And then we'll just hit the top. Hit this fast back green. It's got a really neat looking color to it. And then I'll do my stencil work, then I'll come back in with it. That's how I'm gonna do this tonight. I'm gonna heat set that real quick. It's got a, a really neat looking color. I think it's gonna be kind of cool. It's, it's gonna be a crawl lure I'm gonna do or somewhat of a crawl lure. It's gonna be a little bit different. So we're gonna heat set that top. that for video purposes i i do not heat set a lot i mean i will heat set um my autoborn sealer i'm gonna put a little bit more on this on the top and kind of build it up before i hit my before i do my stencil work Better. The problem I've had with heat setting is sometimes it'll crack your paint, and I don't like that look. I really don't like the the paint cracking look. This is definitely going to be a little bit different. I don't paint too many crawls this color, but I'm just drawing some different paints tonight, just getting out of what I normally do. We'll see how this turns out. Because this isn't gonna be a tape crawl. I'm actually gonna do, I've got some of Ruff Allen's stencils that I actually, um, I blew up on a on a, a printer and then cut them out. I'm just glad to have my Creos back. I've been using my Sotar, which I do love it. I was telling Kyle today, I just, I can't believe how nice they are. Um, I really goofed. I had those two guns for years, years ago, and I thought I'd messed them up. And uh, a YouTube video popped up on my 
on my phone and I watched it and it was about repairing a SOTAR and I actually got them both out and started playing with them and I actually fixed both of them. So I've kind of increased my, my, my guns. But if you don't, if you have a SOTAR, I know you know it's a very, very nice detailed gun. I still like my Creos better, but, but it is a nice gun. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just heat set this so we can lay this down on the, on the paper towels and we'll do some stencil work on it. So we're gonna take this off, I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna put it down where y'all can see it. It's actually a really neat color. If you've never used it, you need to give that a whirl. It's fastback green. I, I would give you the number, but it's wore out on the bottle. It's full, but I just, I don't know what happened with this. I can't, I can't tell you what number it is. It just wore it out, but it's actually a, a really kind of cool color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some golden black carbon this is really my go-to when i do my stenciling this would actually be a killer color for a shad too i'm just playing tonight i've got some kind of neat looking eyes i'm gonna throw in there and hopefully they're gonna work and they're from jimmy and jimmy's got some outstanding eyes that he sells you need to go check him out at lurebill.com got a ton of stuff he's a great guy So let's get a little bit of black in the gun. Gotta poke that through. I got a little bit of dry on the top of my bottle. Got that off. Put a little bit of paint in there. We're gonna reduce, we're gonna definitely shut the pressure down on this. I'm gonna go to about 10 or 12 because this is just a different type of stencil. I'm gonna show it to you here in a sec. Just wanna make sure I got my gun spraying right. I hadn't used it in a couple of days. Okay. All I did was I took one of his stencils and I just kind of blew it up for these bigger lures because I do like this. It's just a different style of um, doing the crawls and you can pretty much do it with one hand. It's really all in how you want to line it up. So what I try to do is I try to get it up standing straight and then I'll just hold it with one hand and I'll just kind of feather it on there. Believe it or not, the easiest way to hold it is the way I've got it now, just holding it down. And then I'll just come over it real lightly and it'll give a nice little crawl pattern and then you just take it and well I've got two on this one so you can either go you can either go small or just stay big and just slide it down and go. I think I'm gonna do one more big one and then I'll go back to the smaller one. I do that a lot when I'm doing these crawls and that's what it looks like. It just gives the outline. I'll just line it up. I may take it up a little higher and just do the same thing. I'm just gonna take it and just start hitting the edge of the I'm about to cut my pressure up just a tad. It's actually dropped down a little lower than I wanted it. There we go. And I'll just take it and I'll just start feathering it on there. Just hitting more on the on the stencil and take it off. Gives it a nice cool little look. Now what I'll do is I will go to the smaller one on this and I'll move it in. It'll make it a little easier to do. I'm trying to do this where you can see it. I've got to really get my camera skills together. Kind of have 
has a really neat look. You know, this, this way is a little bit different than the other ways I do my crawls. It's not quite as clean because the tape, the tape lines really give you a clean line. I like that way, but every now and then I like to do it like this just to kind of keep my skill set going, just trying something new. This is going to push your, your skills on your airbrush on how you do it. Gives it a really neat pattern. We're gonna do a little different. We're not gonna use the model stencil. I'm, I'm gonna use this kind of a, <laughs> I ain't never done this, but we're gonna give it a whirl. This is a, a, a stencil from Jeff at Whitmore Farms. It's actually the skin detail. It's kind of a reptile looking one. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use it on this tonight just to do something different, to have a little bit of fun with it. So I'm gonna set it on there and just do a little bit. Let's see how it looks. It looks kind of cool. Jeff's got some great stencils, so if you hadn't checked him out, you definitely need to go check him out. He has got some very, very nice stencils. I think this is going to have a really neat look. Okay. Put a little bit here. And it gives it a really cool look. We'll go ahead and put a little bit around these eyes. Because I think that makes your eye stand out when you do that. So we'll set it up here and just line it up. And that really kind of finishes it off. I kind of scratched up that top. It wasn't quite dry yet. So what I'm going to do with that is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to run that a um, little bit of that uh, Dars cloth on the top of this one instead of doing the, just to give it a little different look. Let me grab a piece of it. Just remember I said it's just, I don't, I don't hardly ever put a, um, a clamp on, not unless I'm just going to, really do a ton of spraying on this and i'm not i may lock this wheel in i mean my stand in where it won't move but i usually can hold this thing down without any issues i say that and now i'm having trouble um and then i just spray it i'm not gonna put a lot i want to keep it on the top because i don't want it going down the side I really like that color. I don't want to take that all away. It just gives it just enough, just enough. I could take it and run it just a little bit on these sides. I'll show you how I do that. You can always use this cloth too, where I use the Whitmore Farm stencil. You can do the same thing with this, just, just do the shell. And that really gives kind of a neat look. And you're spraying light, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna um, mess up your, uh, what you've already ran with the other stencil. And we can take it and um, just run a little bit under the shell. I, you know, I was just talking to Kyle today about you know leaving lures certain colors and not painting them all. But we can we can take a little bit of this, and I'll use the smaller part of the stencil. And if you'll clean your stencils out as you're you know as you're working, you can you can actually see everything because it's clear. And I won't I won't go up into the shell part. and just put a little bit underneath of it. I'll still leave the belly white, but that's kind of a kind of a neat looking bait. It's different. It is a lot different. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna let that dry for a second. 
and we'll flip it over and we'll just take this stencil that I enlarged and we'll just do the reverse side. I'll set it down. And you can see that's just, that, that fastback green is a really reflective paint. It lets you look at what we've already done. You get the eyes in that and put a little bit of candy on this. Probably get, we'll probably use a little bit of um, poison green on this one. I think it'll set it off. Maybe a little bit of carob blue. Oh, uh, I think that'll really kind of set these colors off. So what we'll do, make sure my tip is not drying out. And we'll count how many, one, two, three, four, five. We'll go ahead and set this on. Very lightly, you gotta blast it. There you go, that's your first one. And I will use the big one one more time, just slide it up a little bit so it's not at the same depth as the other, the first part of the shell. go that's what it looks like then we'll go ahead and go to the smaller one drop it up just a little bit higher I, I think the key to this is keeping it straight up when I used to do it I'd lean it back and it just never looked right and I just lightly do it up to the top and it usually turns out really good they're not going to be identical perfect. I'm not even trying to do that, to be honest with you. I just want it to be somewhat natural. And I don't, I don't, um, sometimes I'll close the shell in at the top. Some people like that. That's just not what I like. You know, I get asked that sometimes, you know, why don't you close the shell in? It's just, Nothing, just personal preference. You know, it's just what I like to do with my crawls. Some people like to close them up, make them real pretty on top. I mean, I, I've got stencils to do the bottoms. I just, sometimes I just like to leave it plain. So we're going to go ahead and take the stencil. And go ahead and fill this in. That is a, that is a really cool stencil that Jeff has come up with. Gives it a really neat look. I really like that. Gives it a really a neat look. So we'll go ahead and run some on the bottom here. I'm gonna run the smaller one. I kind of like that a little bit better. See where I kind of blasted it. I had a little bit of reducer on there. That's why I always like to test blow it when I get that dry tip off. I should have checked that. But as you start painting more, you'll, you'll get used to that. Okay. We'll go ahead and get it back in the stand. Went a little high on that side, but it's all right. There's nothing perfect in nature. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna let that dry for a second. Let you take a good look at it. I think these eyes are really gonna be cool. They got a little bit of green, blue. I've used them in one other lure I did on a battalion, that Mega Bass blank, and it turned out really neat. I didn't do a video on that. I did a um, a half reptile, half uh, armor bait. And I, I probably need to do that one. That was a fun one to paint. It turned out pretty good. It turned out a lot better. I thought I did it too dark, but uh, after I got done clear coating it, it really turned out kind of nice. All right, let me get some of this paint. 
I need some poison. And I need some care of blue. And I'm just going to put a little bit around it. I'm actually going to put the blue around the shell itself because I this is a, a really cool color if you haven't used carob blue you need to put that in your arsenal it's a it's a neat color DLS. put a little bit in the gun I'm gonna fill this thing up and run out okay so we're gonna Get a few drops. I'm not gonna need a lot. I put about four drops in that, that was it. It's pretty potent stuff. It's concentrated, so I don't think you need to use a whole lot of that. You can actually see it's got a good color to it. It's a little thick, so I'm gonna, I am gonna put a little 4011 in with that. That's just what I like, especially with the guns that I spray. This just just what I like to use. If you have a, you know, if you're using a an Eclipse or something with a bigger, you know, a .35, you, you may not want to reduce it. But I'm using these .18s and I just, I just think it works a lot better for what I'm spraying. I'm gonna clean this out real quick. Let that sit just for a second. Get this black paint out of this gun before it dries. Get it on out. I do like to clean out between colors. I don't I don't do a lot of mixing. Some people do, and that's you know, that's personal preference too. I just I just don't care to do that. But that doesn't mean that the other way is wrong and mine's right. I'm just painting like I like to paint. And I'm sure I'm gonna have people that disagree and that's fine too, because I'm not I'm not really there to please them. I'm just having fun doing what I like to do. So we're gonna put a little bit of that in the gun. I'm gonna test this out. That is a cool color. I think it's gonna match this just about perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go up the, the shell line with it. It may be hard to see on the camera. So we're gonna continue to go up these crawl shells with the blue candy. I'm gonna go over it one more time. You can actually see where it's building up now. I'm gonna do the other side. see where the blue actually comes in. We'll just put a little bit of that candy on the top.
Gonna let that dry. And I'm gonna do some poison green up. And I will take the poison green and I will actually do the inside of the shell with that. Poison green is a very cool color. Put a little bit of reducer in with that. Just what I like. You don't have to reduce that if you don't want to. Out of these shells. Just to give it that little bit of contrast because it's going to be super transparent. And I'm going to put a little bit on this bottom. Just on the bottom. I like the green. that draw. up and we'll just dry this off. take this off and we're going to 
gonna set our bait flat. And we'll get our eyes. These are some pretty cool eyes. These are 12 millimeter and this bait takes a 12 meter. I haven't done any um, modifying to this one at all. Let me grab my tweezers. I don't know what they call these eyes, but they're new. They, I've used them on a couple baits um, prior to this one, and they really are neat looking. So I'm gonna get some glue, because these are glass eyes, and we're gonna go ahead and glue these in. So there's no modifying of these eyes. This, these baits, these El Goliath baits from, from Luis are very, very nice. Very nice blanks. Just see how I'm gonna put these on there. I wanna, I have to do it like this. It is a very, I think that, it's very cool. I'll let you see what it looks like. It's a really neat color bait. A lot different than some of the stuff I've painted here lately. We'll let that bite. Get this one in. Get a little bit of glue. Spin this eye around. It's a really neat looking eye. Really neat. It actually does match this thing pretty good. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our stand back out. We're gonna hit it with some UVLS. Then we'll put a coat of on true coat on it tonight. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and finish this one. It's gonna be a long video, so strap in, get you something to drink, and we're gonna have at it. So we're gonna take, I'm gonna switch my guns over. Get us some of this mixed up so we can get a little bit on this to go ahead and lock that stuff in. And mix this up. It's actually a really neat looking bait. Turned out even better than I imagined it. Just to do something different. So we'll go ahead and spray this. And I'll probably go ahead and heat set it. So we can go ahead and get the epoxy done. So I got the pressure on up, and we're just gonna go ahead and get a fine, get a good coat of this on there. Definitely want to clean your gun out good after using that UVLS. But if you don't, it will lock your gun down. I like. 
Just we're gonna let that dry just for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and get my supplies ready for the for the true coat. We'll heat set that and we'll get a coat of true coat on there and finish this bait up. Turned out really, really neat. So if you haven't tried the Fastback Green, give that a shot. May even try that on some of the shad baits I got. So we're gonna get our supplies ready to go. show you a trick about this true coat it's gonna be hard blue I got my camera set up but I'll show you how I do this to make sure that it doesn't come out sticky so let me heat set this real quick and then we'll go over that Stick it back in here. But on my wheel, I've got these uh, little hands that actually hold the bait. And I'll put one of them on there so when I, when I get done, I can just pick it up and set it on my wheel and let it spin. But the trick that I've learned about the True Coat, because that's what we're going to use tonight. We're going to use True Coat is I'll take these little syringes. This, um, this epoxy is a one-to-one. -one. So what I'll do is I'll take this off and I'll put, I found that one, the number one on here, which is, it doesn't look like a whole lot, but it actually will do a whole bait. So what I'll do is I'll take part, um, part A, and I've got to get me some, Oh, oh, I'm drawing a blank on what these things are called, syringes. And I'll just put the, I'll get it up to one. And that's a little too much. So I'm not gonna be able to put all that in there. So what I'll do is I'll just put it back in my syringe and I'll just make sure I get one in here. And then I'll just put the other, because if you don't mix the two, it's not gonna, if you can get, what I'm doing is I've ordered some with a cap and then you can just put your cap on, you can just leave it in the syringe and then you just do it one to one, whatever your, um, trying to do you just figure out you know how much you're going to need and you just do it a one-to-one -one. so i'll take part b now because it's not done by weight it's done by volume so that's how we got to do this and that's how we're going to get this done So let's get our part B in here. And we'll get this set up. Get it right on there. And I found this is the best way to keep it from being sticky. 
You know, sometimes you'll do it and you think you've mixed it just about right, or you may have weighed it, and then it goofs up and you, you're picking it up and it's and it's stuck to everything and you don't want that. So we're gonna put the caps back on here. I really like the true coat. I think it's a great epoxy. So what we'll do is we'll set this over here. And I'm gonna stir this up. I know I've said this before, but it just doesn't take a lot to do these baits. It's a, it is a small batch epoxy. And I'm gonna stir it here good for a minute. And then we'll apply it. And this thing ought to be shining. So I just like to spread it out in my cup. And then I'm gonna set the cup down and I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. And I'm gonna start putting it on. And you can see it just it just jumps. It jumps on that candy. I, that's why I love this stuff. It really does a good job on these baits. And it is very thin. It'll, you can do a, you can do a whole, and this is a big lure. This isn't no little one. It is not a little one. And I, it actually draws from the inside out. So you don't have a ton of, um, bubbles. I mean, if you, if you do see some form, you can actually take the uh, the little torch, which I've got, and if I see any, I'll hit it with it. I haven't done many videos where I did the epoxy and everything on it, but I figured I'd do one tonight. And this is a neat bait. I kind of messed up this bottom but it, like I said there's nothing perfect in nature and I'm not gonna worry about a few little things it still looks really cool all I would say is I, I just run over the bait up down sideways it's very thin but it, it covers very well you just want to make sure that you've got it all over it especially around the gills and the eyes in the mouth where you've got a little bit of cut out on, on the bait. And then I'll just brush it all one way. And this bait's so big, the eye, you know, the, the line ties and all are so big, you don't really have to worry about it filling those up. Some of the smaller baits you have to. But you're not gonna have that problem with this. But if you haven't used the true coat, I mean, it's it's personal preference. I like it. It's just it's just different. I love the Defcom. I just did a video on that. I can't really say I like one actually over the other. I just I do like the workability of the um, true coat better. You just have a lot more time. And I've, I mean, I didn't mix that much and I've still got way too much in there. I can't seem to find a happy medium with that. I thought one would be fine, but I've, I've probably got enough in there to do another lure. You just don't want to waste it. But I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Um, hit the like button. If you have comments, throw them down there good or more bad. Uh, 
like I said, I'm, I'm not a professional. I, I just, I love to do this. I love to have fun. I like to share what little bit I do know and just share my creativity that I have and my style. So subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell notification so you know when I'm going to post. I'm actually off all weekend. I'm going to be making some this weekend. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to learn together. And like I said, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.